last game against Bournemouth, obviously we saw all the players very disappointed afterwards. I was just wondering, for a player, how long after the game do you, do you carry that disappointment? Obviously, there's certain players that it's like, as soon as the game's done, clean slate, move on. But me personally, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that at all. Like, I moan a lot. Like, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure people see that. Obviously, me, myself, I was annoyed with myself because I demand a lot for myself anyway. People talk about pressure during games, but I just put pressure on myself because I feel like the player I want to be, I need to be doing better in certain games. And like, after games, obviously, my family come and watch me or whatever. And we can spend all evening talking about the game, even the next day or whatever, but I have to go through things that obviously I think I can do better and probably the next day we just let it slide and you just move on really. I mean you said you were disappointed with how you played but you got the goal. A bit of yeah. skill before it, is it the roulette? I know you don't stand here practicing that on the training ground anymore but is that something you did over and over when you were young? Tricks and stuff is something that I've done over and over when I was young. So that's not something that I lack in. It's just other things that, that I feel like I need to get better in. Obviously. Everyone knows I do skills or whatever. That's not something that no one knows. But it's a, me, the only thing that I'm trying to test myself on is just my awareness and decision making and just shooting, really. That's the main thing. But obviously, the roulette was just the easy part. Like, that's something I can do. But just build enough confidence to just take a shot like I did on Saturday. And then that's what, that's what you get from it. Having, having that confidence just to just have a shot, really, that's the only thing. Lucas scored a good free kick. Have you ever been tempted to step up and take a free kick? Yeah, I have, but I don't think I'm, <laughs> I'm there yet to do, to do that, obviously, to do what he does. Me, I, I know myself. I feel like if I clearly know someone is better at something than I am, I'm not going to just go up and be like, yeah, I'm just going to do it. If I know you're better than me at that, I'll just let you do it, do you know what I mean? But obviously, I'm practising penalties, I'm practising free kicks as well. So eventually, uh, 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 one day I'll step up. You got a bit of stick off for fans on Saturday, and it happens a lot. Yeah. Does that make you play better? Um, yeah, it does. It, it gives me that, not that, not that I really care. At the, I don't care at the same time. Fans give me abuse all the time. Nearly every team does that, do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's whatever, if I wasn't, if I wasn't a good player, you wouldn't, you wouldn't feel like you need to boo me the whole game. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, do that if it makes you feel better. But at the same time, it spurs me on as well, because it's just like you're expecting something from me. That's why you're doing all of this. Do you know what I mean? So I don't mind that they can boo me all day long, really. You're quite an emotional guy. Like It's pretty obvious watching the game when you're happy, when you're yeah. annoyed. Yeah. Do you My think that's facials. What gives you the, yeah. Is that what gives you the edge, though? Yeah, yeah, you can see, you can see exactly how I feel. I don't hide nothing at all. Like if I'm annoyed, you'll see that I'm annoyed. If I'm happy, you'll see that I'm happy. When I score a goal, you see how passionate I am about it because I've got a winning mentality, do you know what I mean? You see what you see with Wilf, do you know what I mean? There's no hiding, there's nothing. Now one thing that I'm sure frustrates you is when earlier in the season when there was talk of you going down easily in the box. But, how, yeah, does that frustrate you because I mean, you don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't anymore, do you know what I mean? I used to get annoyed or whatever. Obviously, I have arguments with people on the pitch, but it's just like, obviously, because it's with all the emotions or whatever on the pitch. I've done a one-two and he's, I've gone to run and he's blocked me and I fell over. And it's like, so realistically, you know you've blocked me yes. and you've bundled me over. I haven't called for a penalty, but anywhere else on the pitch, that's a foul. So why are you trying to pull me up and say, and say why are you diving? Because you know that anyone else in the pitch is a foul. That's why I don't get. Some of, these, some of these pens that are not given or whatever, anywhere else, it's a foul. So that's the only thing I don't understand. Why is it a foul in the middle of the pitch, but in the box, it's not? So yeah, that's the question I ask myself. But I don't even get involved in that anymore. I just play. If you give me a pen, give me a pen. If you don't, just play on, really. Do you find maybe that people don't understand, because not many people can run as fast as you, and people can't understand what it's like when you're running at full speed and someone... someone That's the funniest it. thing, like... I'd love to, I'd love to, like, actually show someone, like, so you sprint and I just literally touch the back of your ankle. See how far you go sliding down the pitch. Do you know what I mean? That's the thing that people don't understand. Like, at the pace that we're running, and I'm trying to get, trying to get the ball, and at the slightest touch, 
could trip me over. You don't have to literally push me over. That's the thing that people don't understand. But unless you're the one doing it, unless you're able to run that fast, you will never understand. I'll never understand. Do you know what I mean? (laughs) I guess to your credit though, you don't do that thing that, the thing that annoys me is when players throw their head back and go, ah. Oh. Exactly, it that's hurt, how. Does it? But it pushes you off balance. See, with Mane, yeah, it could have been a pen because obviously Maka did touch him, but he's waited seconds later than thrown himself. Do you know what I mean? He's taken like at least 10 seconds, then dives. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, boy, it's different, man. But the whole penalty thing. I'm bothered by it. It used to get me really annoyed before, like, everyone just... I feel like everyone just jumps on the bandwagon, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't really buy into it, but I read stuff on Twitter and it's just like, half of you don't even watch me play, but you just come online and say, yeah, he's a diver, he's a diver, da 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 But actually watch me play, then you'll see how often I get kicked. Yeah. I don't go off the pitch and just cut myself and just to act like I've been kicked. So, yeah, man. And on the theme of we talked about fans, we've got our friends from the South Coast coming to Sellers Park on Saturday. There's normally some good quotes from you flying about before Brighton. Do you enjoy the build-up to these kind of games? I don't even think there's much need to talk. I just want to get, like, I just want to just play the game. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just want to beat them and then they can just be quiet. There's no, like, I feel like there's no need for us to, to, to have the debate. Do you know what I mean? Like. I don't feel like they're better than us. So we just need to get the game over and done with. Beat them, then they can just go back to wherever they came from, really. Because I get so much stick from them, and it's just like, oh, anyway, let me not even talk about them. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the game.